Welcome to YouTube. Here I'm going to show you how to install that in Windows with MySQL PHP and Paul. Let me show you. First, I will show you where to download that. Just open Google and type that. The first website will come of them. Open the download page like this. The website will come like this. This is ZAMP website, right? So, this is our ZAMP every year. The release this version you can see 1.8, 1.8.2, 1, 1 and 1.8.3. These are the versions for Windows, and this is ZAMP for Linux supported. If you want in, to install in Linux, means you can click here and start downloading. So, let me tell you about this Windows supported. This is for support only. Uh, it support above from 2003 server 2008 and 2012 it supported windows 7 windows 8 and uh, it does not support xp and here in this one 1 1.8.3 it does not support xp and 2003 server except to that one it supports to every one like 2008 2012 server and uh, xp not xp windows 7 windows 8 these are sub window vista is supported this 1.8.1 version but 1.8.2 does not support xp so here these are the uh, 32 bit both are 32 bit this is the size there if you just click on this one it will come off this like the page and it will start automatically downloading so i have already downloaded this is my setup let me show you the installation file double click on it Just click OK here. Click on next. Click on next. Just click install Apache, install MySQL FileZilla. If you check this means it will also install Apache plus MySQL plus FileZilla. If you uncheck means later on you have to install all these services. Like just click on next. If you want to check this box, you can check for desktop purpose. And if you want to start at when the system is at started menu, you can check this box. Just click on install. Completed. I'm clicking on finish. It's checking its ports. So it's completed. And its services starting Apache services starting PHP services Perl service all the services will start. Say MySQL service Apache has been started, MySQL has been started, and this is installation has been finished. We are going to click on OK and then installation has been successfully installed. Just click this control panel I will, I will show you where the control panel is located here I am going to click OGS see this is my control panel right you can see on the screen uh, this is my control panel and here is Apache is running MySQL is running FileZilla is running this 3 hours is running if you FileZilla stop it means these are running means something is problem if you want to stop means you can click on stop it See, this has been FileZilla. Stop it. You can see on if you want to start and click on start it, it will start it. Right? So, let me show you the page that installation of completed or not. Just open the Google Chrome and type here local host press center. See, this came local host slash zam slash php. This is the page, local page came. Click on English. See, welcome to ZAMP for Windows. Congratulations, you have success. So, let me show you the PHP page. Just uh, click on this one PHP. See, this is your info page, and this is your uh, installation file is showing, configuration file, supported 
and showing see php credits configurations everything you can see on the screen so this is php information page this that one and i will show you the pearl information also see you can see pearl information has see pearl version is there this is your pearl and you can see on the screen this is php this is your pearl php pearl and this is your apache j j2 etw container so this has been installed when you come to our database this is your main php my admin database so you can see on the screen this is your home page and you click on home page will come if you want to create database means you can create click here and give it name whatever you need and just click on it apply it it will come so this is your home page uh, just now you have seen that how to install XAMPP in your system if this system if, if, if it is this, this this service is not running not running means we can understand that something is happened to in the during the installation thank you for watching my video